welcome to your new Akixi reporting account. In this video, we're going to show you around the reporting portal. Firstly, click on sign in and sign in with your credentials sent to you in your welcome email. If you're logging in for the first time, you will need to read and accept the terms of service. Then head over to reporting, which can be accessed by clicking on the hamburger menu icon in the top left. The reporting tutorial will be there to help you after signing in after the first time. The side report menu is where you will see all of your reports and any report folders that you have created. Some reports, shown in the reporting menu, are supplied with each new account. These can be deleted, edited and new reports added to meet your specific business requirements. The side menu can be pinned or unpinned using the pin button in the top right. And clicking on the three dots against a specific report, you have the ability to delete, copy, rename or modify the report settings. Alternatively, you can tick reports to make use of the multi-copy and delete report functions. Here you will also find the add report button where you can create a brand new report. To view a report, simply click on the report title. At the bottom of the screen, you'll find the open report tab where you can scroll and expand. And simply click on a report to view it. In the bottom right, you can select to have the portal automatically cycle through your open reports. The cycle time and whether you wish to include certain reports can be found in the modify reports section. And to turn this off, simply click the icon again. Now let's take a look at the report toolbar where you'll find a number of different reports and control options. By clicking on the modify report button, this will bring up the settings window for the report you're currently looking at. Here you have your download center where you can download via PDF, RTF, CSV or even print the report. Next you have the snapshot option where you have the ability to take a snapshot of live information to review later. The device filter also found within the modify report screen is where you can quickly filter which devices, groups and queues you'd like to include by left clicking or exclude by right clicking. And once selected, just simply refresh the report. The zoom level settings control the size of the reports and by clicking auto zoom the report will automatically size to fit the page. As a user with an associated device you will see the control features when select reports are set to real time and you can use the control buttons on the report toolbar to perform various actions such as making new calls as well as holding and answering calls. If you're set up with an agent you can also make use of additional agent control functions. You can also left click on the report to give you control over other devices and agents. The report view type button located at the top right of the reporting toolbar allows you to select whether a report is displayed in either a detailed table view, one of two BLF arrangements or a chart. And the date time filter allows you to immediately change the date or time range that's currently applied to the displayed reports and you can also set this in the modify report section. To close the report you are looking at simply click the cross in the right hand corner and this doesn't delete the report to open it up again at any time click on the report name in the reporting menu. This is just a quick start to get you up and running and you can watch our full library of Akixi reporting tutorials on the Akixi YouTube channel.